welcome to another episode of Ron's O-Gauge Train Journey. We got another couple of um, M1005 cars, passenger cars, and my uh, intention was to make another transition car except for the M1005. Um, I had made one already for the M10,000, doing a similar thing, um, cutting the piece off at the same spot, about, and then mating it onto there. My other thing was, the M10,000 has wheels here that will swivel and four of them to be exact and this is a single and so i compared it to the wheelbase of a seven inch and now i'm not worried i think it should be fine now well, here's the question m10005 trying to do the same thing the difference is the wheel the wheel comes over into that spot to get the, when it lines up. Any opinion on me having a little problem? I'm going to have to modify down here, obviously. Um, maybe cut. But if I drill a hole and do everything else, I think it should work. We got problems. It is too tight. And I've done some grinding. The windows, the edges here, and this here. Um, I am looking and looking to see how I can get a little bit more shaved off of here. Or increase something on here. I don't know, maybe I have to move these notches up. I don't know. That's where I'm at, but I don't know. Okay. Did it. Um, I started out by trying to um, round this edge from the inside out to get it so there was a lot less slop out here. That really didn't work. And so I ended up cutting another slot down underneath the tab, another slot down underneath the tab, and that made it a lot easier. Um, I'm gonna have to trim, I think, that piece on both sides. And then to make it look right, match that back there so cut this little piece off that's what I'm thinking right now but um, I don't know we're gonna think about it a little bit more here's some coupler thoughts thought about tracing this end have some uh, aluminum foil, probably aluminum plating that's probably about the same thickness. And tracing that piece there and then adding a coupler end at the end to make it in there. I was going to do that and then my friend Gary Anderson suggested using just a normal tab and slot coupler and so that's what I did. All right final pieces. I did in fact trim this back. That needed to be trimmed on that part and on the underside that needed to be trimmed. I um, made a coupler and I just took a um, 
regular standard coupler and took the rivet out and then cut a notch in and then rebent it with a low piece there so it would connect. And that's about it. We're ready to uh, try it out. All right, this is my first try to consist with it. Meets up pretty good. This is the silver streak that I've had for a bit. It was in the fire. You can look at an earlier video. And uh, I was going to paint it in a Milwaukee road. I have yet to do that because I'm chicken. And I kind of also like the look of it. But now I can use it with some other things. You have to add some weight. But I like the look being able to be pulled by other things. And as far as I'm concerned, these snake cars are meant to go fast. 